Yo, what's going on YouTube? Apox here. Welcome to the Mod Organizer series, episode number 1B. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and install Mod Organizer for Fallout 3. And it's actually pretty simple. And we now have a new update for Mod Organizer. It's version 1.37 now. And I'll be showing you guys how to do a simple update for the Fallout New Vegas version that I was showing you guys in my previous video. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install directly with 1.3.7 for Fallout 3. So anyways, all you want to do is come to the link down in the description below and you can go ahead and click download manually. From here, it'll quickly allow you to save it to your desktop, your downloads, wherever you want. I'm going to save it to my download or to my actual desktop so that we know where it is. And then I will see you guys in just a quick sec when this finishes downloading. All right, so once it's done downloading, you should see something sort of like this and it should say mod organizer version 1.37 installer. And you can simply install it by simply just double clicking, hitting run, going next, and hitting I agree. And then on this page right here, you want to scroll down and check off handle Nexus links. And this will make it so that when you hit download with manager on the Nexus mods, it will actually download it through mod organizer rather than Nexus mod manager. And then we can go ahead and hit next. And then here we want to go to browse and go to computer, local disk, Program Files 86, find Steam, and then once we find Steam, we can go into Steam Apps, which should just be at near the bottom, and then we can go to Common and click on Fallout 3 Game of the Year, or either just Fallout 3, depends on what version you have. And then from here, you can just select that folder. Do not create a new folder, just select that folder, hit OK. And as you guys can see, it actually makes a new folder inside. Once it's all installed, called Mod Organizer, we can go ahead and hit Install. And then it'll quickly install it. This should only take a few seconds here. And bam. And then we can go ahead and actually run Mod Organizer here. And once we run it, it's going to ask us whether we're running the game of the year or regular. It depends on what version you have. You can simply see this by looking on your Steam directory here. If we go to Follow, you can see Follow 3 Game of the Year Edition. It would just say Follow 3 if it was just Follow 3. So, anyways, you can go ahead and choose what version you have. I have the Game of the Year. And then here, if you want, you can follow this tutorial. This is just going to be the message of the day. You can close that off. And you can see, you are starting Mod Organizer for the first time. Do you want to show a tutorial of the basic features? If you want, you can go through this and you'll easily learn how to use Mod Organizer. If you want, you can go through this for now before I actually get the videos up showing you guys how to properly use Mod Organizer. But we're just going to go ahead and select no. And then I'm going to show you guys just a few different things here for the setup and then you'll be good to go for now. So anyways, to add new executables to Mod Organizer, because if you guys don't know, with Mod Organizer, you actually have to launch through Mod Organizer with whatever launcher to actually get the mods to work. Because basically what Mod Organizer does is it puts all your files or all your mod files into another folder inside of the Mod Organizer folder and that confuses the game. So if you don't run your actual executable through Mod Organizer, it won't know that there's even any mods installed. So that is why you have to do it. And then to add a new executable, you can simply hit the three browse dots right here beside binary and choose the executable you want. And then you can type in the title and hit add. And then you can close it off and then it will pop up here. Then you can run it through that. So this right here is the loot button. This will automatically sort your load order. So for example, if I click this right here, it might rearrange whatever is here, trying to make it work as best as possible. Sometimes you will have to do manual load order adjustments, but it's usually with the mods that everyone installs, you won't actually really have to do that. And you can see that we've got a few different tabs here. The only tabs that you're really gonna have to deal with for now if you're downloading mods is the downloads tab and the plugins tab. Those are the two tabs you only really have to deal with. But that is how you download and install and do the basic setup for Fallout 3 Mod Organizer version 1.3.7. And if this video did help you out, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. It would be super greatly appreciated. And as always, stay safe in the Waste Wanderers, and I'll see you in the next adventure.